Legendary Passages, Episode 64, The Cretan Bull, Daedalus, Cephalus, and Megacles, from Zitzid's Chiliades. Last time, we covered the stories of the sanctuaries in Thebes. This time, we hear several tales concerning the bull of Minos, the dog of Cephalus, and the Olympics. The bull of Crete ties into several myths. Not only was retrieving it the seventh labor of Heracles, but it also became the Marathon Bull, and was the sire of the Minotaur. We also get more background on Daedalus, exiled from Athens for jealously slaying the son of his sister Perdix. Minos gave sanctuary to Daedalus, and with the slave Nocrate, he had a son named Icarus. Daedalus helped Queen Pasiphae commit adultery with either a bull or with General Taurus, causing the Minotaur to be born. For this, Daedalus and his son were imprisoned, and eventually escaped, either by ship or by flying. Icarus died, and was buried by Heracles on the island of Icaria. Daedalus fled to Sicily, but soon Minos followed him there. As King Minos was taking a bath, the daughters of Cocalus added boiling water, and Minos died. The second story concerns Cephalus and his wife Procris. After a misunderstanding, she fled to Crete, and as a reward for helping Minos, she received a magic spear and a dog that could catch anything. Procris gave these to her husband Cephalus, who sent the dog after the uncatchable Temusian fox. So the gods turned both animals into stone. Cephalus took the magic spear hunting with him, and when Procris went to fetch him, he thought she was a wild animal. The magic of the spear was that it never missed. The last tale concerns Megacles, son of the noblewoman Cosera, who won third place in the Olympics for horse racing. The Olympics were founded by Heracles in Olympia, just next to the Augean stables in Elis, and took place every fifty months. Next time, more stories of Heracles, carved onto the chest of Sepsilus. The Cretan Bull, a legendary passage, from Zitzi's Chiliades, translated by Anna Antilla. Concerning the Bull of Minos Minos was a son of Asterian Zeus. Since the beginning of the world, Kings were called Zeus as well. Just like the star of Zeus, which came quickly when he was born, to foretell he would have a destiny of a lion. It appears only in front of kings who wear a crown. After the death of the king Asterion, Minos was not permitted to rule Crete after him, because, they say, the kingdom must be given by the gods. A strange sign from the sea would be revealed to him. Minos promised that, whatever it was, it would be sacrificed to Poseidon. Then a beautiful bull appeared from the sea, and he was given immediately the kingdom of the Cretans. He sacrificed to Poseidon another bull that he asked to be brought from his herd. That bull was said to have lain with his wife Pasiphae, even though she was involved in intercourse with Daedalus's artificial inventions. She gave birth to Minotaur, a beast half-man and half-bull. Daedalus was a son of Upolmus and Alcipi. He was a craftsman and a sculptor in Attica. He threw down from Attica Citadel, the son of his sister Perdix, whose name was Atalus. He was being a disciple alongside his uncle Daedalus. He was the first to make an artificial serpent's jaw, which could catch a small piece of wood. When his uncle saw that, being envious of the child's genius, he killed him. He went to Minos. 
There, with the slave Nocrate, he had a son, Icarus. Minos detained them for having helped his adulterer wife. He was about to kill them, that's why he imprisoned them. They escaped from the prison, having put wings upon them. They flew through the air. Icarus fell into the sea when he left. The Icarian Sea, where he fell, was named after him. Daedalus was saved in Caminus of Sicily. In Sicily came Minos, looking for him. Minos was killed by the daughters of Cocalus. By pouring upon him boiling waters, he immediately froze. Now I should say about the bull and the involved intercourse, about the minotaur and the wings made by Daedalus, and how, they say, Daedalus' sculptures could move. As Euripides has said in his play Hecuba, I wish I could speak through my arms, through my hands and my hair and my walking, and through Daedalus's crafting or some gods. And Plato, the master of comedy, has said, Every sculpture made by Daedalus must be seen to move. That is a wise man. Minos, who was not permitted to be ruler before, having consulted the seers, spoke to the Cretans. He would be revealed a sign from the sea. Commander Taurus showed up with his merchant ships, and Minos took the kingdom as if it were a god's will. It was this Taurus, the commander, not the bull, with whom Pasiphae, the wife of Minos, committed adultery, in cooperation with Daedalus, who helped her to be closed in the most guarded rooms, the so-called wooden bull of Daedalus, where she had a baby. Since the child had two fathers, Minos and Taurus, he was called Minotaur. Daedalus knew the ships of these merchants were so quick as if they had feathers. He left with them to Sicily. Icarus was plundered and drowned during a shipwreck. Daedalus was saved in the house of Cocalus. The things crafted by Daedalus were believed to move because of this. Many years before Daedalus, the statues were made without arms, legs, or eyes. Daedalus was the first one to make them with arms and legs, as well as with fingers, eyelids, and everything else. That's why they say statues were capable of moving. Concerning Cephalus's Dog Procris, the daughter of Erechtheus and Praxithea, was the wife of Cephalus, Dionysus' son. She was bribed with a golden crown to lie with Telion. She fled to Minos after Cephalus discovered her. Minos had secret intercourse with her and gave her as a gift a sharp javelin and a fast running dog. This dog could quickly catch any fast beast. She took these presents and returned to Cephalus. He received the gifts and went hunting. Believing that it was a wild beast, he killed her with a javelin. Judged by the Areopagus, he went into exile. At that time there was a Timusian fox that was bringing disaster to the children of Thebes. Cephalus sends his dog to hunt the fox. Zeus, by transforming the roads into stones, made the dog win. This story has been written by Apollodorus. While the wise Paleophatus, a really intelligent man, says a slightly different story. He says there was a commander named Alopecos, who was fighting against the Thebans along with other rebels, whom Cephalus killed having been called from Athens. I too agree with this version of the story, which is the most known. Minos was involved in a secret intercourse with Procris, and after that he sent her upon fast ships along with Commander Sinus and many gifts for Cephalus. Cephalus then sent this Sinus to Alopecos to fight him as an enemy. They fought upon their horses until they destroyed each other. Alopecos escaped with his ships, and Sinus was chased until the cliffs beside the sea, where his ships were, and left this life. Concerning Megacles 
The claiming Megacles was the son of Cosera, the most noble among all women under the sun. He was the third one in the horse contest in Olympia. Olympia was a place next to Triphylia, where the river Alephus is still flowing. Heracles had been forced by Olympian Zeus to fight and win the beasts of Agius. He was honored with a young branch of a wild olive tree. This contest continued to take place every fifty months.